I'm going to read and discuss the poem by Sharon Olds, The Victims. When mother divorced you, we were glad. She took it and took it in silence all those years and then kicked you out suddenly and her kids loved it. Then you were fired and we grinned inside the way people grinned when Nixon's helicopter lifted off the South Lawn for the last time. We were tickled to think of your office taken away, your secretaries taken away, your lunches with three double bourbons, your pencils, your reams of paper. Would they take your suits back too? Those dark carcasses hung in your closet and the black noses of your shoes with their large pores? She had taught us to take it, to hate you and take it, until we pricked with her for your annihilation, Father. Now I pass the bums in doorways, the white slugs of their bodies gleaming through slits in their suits of compressed silt, the stained flippers of their hands, the underwater fire of their eyes. Ships gone down with the lanterns lit. And I wonder who took it and took it from them in silence until they had given it all away and had nothing left but this. You always want to think about the feeling you have at the end. And what's very interesting is that this ends with the word. Um, they, meaning the people that took it for so long and then suddenly revolted against, in this case, these fathers. And they took it and took it until they had nothing left but this. And we're kind of wondering or we're left to define what is this? What are these kids left with? Remember, analyzing a poem, you should have lots of questions. Okay, so one question is, um, what kind of job do you think this father had? Well, I have some clues here. His office, secretaries, that's more than one. His lunches with three double bourbons, I don't know if you comprehend what that means, but a double bourbon is two shots and this father has three of them in a lunch. He's not going back to work that day. You know, not many of us can have a lunch where you basically are pretty tipsy by the end of it. A lot of us have to go back to work. His pencils of reams of papers. The other thing too is, you know, what happened that made this person completely topple? Well, we get an interesting symbol or metaphor. Would they take your suits back? So he has, this father has his suits in the closet, but how interesting that they're described as those dark carcasses. Okay, what's another word for a carcass? Body, skeleton. So have you ever heard skeleton in your closet? And that's a metaphor that means secrets that are hidden away. And, and the person who's hiding them hopes that no one ever sees them, that they'll die and stay in the closet. So this is a hint that there must have been something behind it. Another hint I have is when it makes a, a historical illusion and a simile, then you were fired and we grinned inside. Well, how did you grin? And this is what a simile does. It takes something we do know so, and compares it to something we don't know. Okay, so what we do know is the way people grinned when Nixon's helicopter lifted off the South Lawn for the last time. So President Nixon is the one that was impeached. Actually, he left before he was impeached, but he was caught in a lie, or at least so the people believed. And it was due to his arrogance, right? He was recording in his office and that was used against him and when his helicopter left the South Lawn for the last time, that means <clears throat> he was no longer president. He was no longer the big shot. So that's the comparison we have to this father. And the American people thought, we got you. You thought you were going to keep tricking us. Well, we got you. That's how these kids felt. So that's what a simile can do is it can say, okay, you don't understand how these kids in this family felt. Well, let me compare it to something you do understand how the American people felt when they thought they had been tricked, lied to by their president, and then they got rid of him. That's our connection into this. Okay, so he gets all of this taken away from him. He has these 
skeletons in his closet. Um, we even give personification to the shoes, like the black noses of your shoes. There were shoes that um, they have basically like, they're not holes. They're meant to be put there, but they do look like pores or, you know, holes in our skin. She had taught us to take it. She being the mother had taught the kids to just take it and suffer in silence to hate you and take it. Okay. Now that gets a little bit worse, right? It's like a volcano that is ready to erupt until we pricked with her for your annihilation father. Okay. And they all saw that happen. The timeline switches now. So this means the child who's telling the story is now an adult and I'm passing bums in doorways slugs of their bodies gleaming through slits in their suits of compressed silt and stain. That's alliteration, the S, right? You can hear that. And here's all these bums in this doorway, um, stained flippers of their hands. Think about if we had flippers of our hands, we're not very effective. We can't do anything. The underwater fire of their eyes. Mm. How long can fire last underwater? It's going out if you can see it at all. And that's the look. There's not a gleam in their eyes. And if there is a gleam, it's because it's about to be extinguished. Wow. I love this image because it's so powerful. Ships gone down with the lanterns lit. That's what this person is saying. These men are who are so powerful. If a ship goes down with the lantern lit, it never saw it coming till boom, sinking. Picture the Titanic, as awful as that is, all the lights were lit until that last bit went. I wonder who took it and took it from them in silence until they had given it all away and had nothing left but this. What is this that she's left with? That's really for you to determine, but did anybody win in this scenario? No. You know, she, if we can call her that, as the, the children are angry they destroyed him. They applauded when he was destroyed. She's still wondering, though, when she's walking by these doorways, whose father is that? Obviously doesn't know where her father is. Nobody wins in this scenario. Okay. See you later.